Hopefully. Hopefully, everything is all situated with the cameras. So I would hate to see this lag out yet. Oh, East River crossing again. Deadlift inverted powerbomb by Nick. And Chris Cage has been eliminated. This is the lowest quality that I, that I cameras have right now. Hopefully it works. Once again, Chris Cage eliminated. The cover on Ryan. No, kick out. Oh, 
man. Knees is still hurting from the chamber. We might be here a while. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're stuck. We may be here a while. Thank you, Frozen Brick, for ending that. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Rhinox going to get out of that one in time. Nick and Andy, they're battling out in the ring. Hey, Ryan, why didn't you just drag, why didn't you just drag him instead of just throwing him into the steel post? Those of you tuning in, thank you so much for coming by. Really appreciate it. Oh, oh this. There's that spinning brain buster of his on Nick. And Nick Nitro Glycerin's eliminated. minutes and eight seconds for that elimination. We are down to three. All three men now finally back in. And Ryan Osborne came in at number two. Oh, sorry, number one. Excuse me, Chris Cage is number two. And Ryan Osborne still in it. Uh oh, may not, he may not be for long. Oh, and there's the Destiny DDT. And Ryan Osborne eliminated. Now we're down to these two. Andy kicks out. Now Frozen Rage scaling to the top rope. What's he going for here? Oh, oh went for Went for a knee drop, but Andy moves out of the way. Kick to the back. Now Blaze McCoy will be going live for about 30 minutes. Be sure to check him out on Blaze Radio's LTD Wrestling. The Monday Bloody Monday. Andy Price calling for Frozen Rage to get up. What's he going for here? And, <clears throat> oh! What a move that was. The Frozen Rage is in trouble despite being the last man to come out of his pod. There's a cover. Pick out at one. Well, I've been in the ring with Frozen Rage many times. You ain't gonna put him down like that. Andy Price, though, is trying. Trying to be game, trying to be valiant. So is Frozen. Uh oh. Andy Price going for that brain buster. He got it. Oh, he's going for that Destiny DDT again, but Frozen Rage catches him that time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vicious headbutt. Now frozen into a crossface. Will this be it? Andy Price trying to trying to fight out of it. Oh, oh never mind. I thought he was going for that brain buster, but went for a suplex instead. 
And the cover, shoulders down, kick out at one. Avalanche kick. Will he get it? No, he won't. And he moves out of the way. Oh, nice Russian leg sweep there. Andy Price scaling the top rope. Oh, and he's not done. He's going right up to the top of the pond. And oh, nails him. And he nails it. Oh, Stupid lag. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This was not the way to go about with the stream. Damn camera crew. <clears throat> Remind me to hire some new ones, damn it. I want new cameras, I want new crew, and I want them right now. Andy Price spinning brain buster again. I forget what he calls it. The PTP brain buster. That's what it is. Now he's going for the Destiny DDT. Got it. And oh my goodness. Holy crap. Andy Price wins his second Elimination Chamber. You gotta be kidding me. Andy Price victorious. Once again in the chamber. He might be the king of the chambers. Who knows? Your winner of this chamber at 17 minutes and 43 seconds. The outcast, Andy Price. My goodness. <clears throat> what a matchup. All right, now we're just about ready to get get some more women's action in. Oh wait, actually, why don't we do a little falls count anywhere between two between two women who no doubt have a bit of a grudge against one another. One of them. Oh, thank you, Mrs. You. Uh Some people, so a certain person that I know, who no doubt wants a bit of payback after the premiere. All right, now we have Mrs. You Taker taking on Valerie. <clears throat> Valerie and Mrs. You.
Now in the premiere of Commonwealth Wrestling, we saw... We saw Valerie, Mrs. U. Taker, and Jennifer Clark compete in a triple threat match. And of course, Valerie was victorious in that match. And Mrs. U. Taker wanted payback. So I decided to give it to her. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My voice is really clouded. And uh, here we go. <clears throat> this contest, ladies and gentlemen, is a Falls Count Anywhere match. <clears throat> making her way to the ring from the outer circle of hell she is Mrs. You take her <clears throat> Sorry, my, my throat is apparently clotted, clotted up Was formerly known as Dark Angel Fire before marrying Mr. Utaker. This woman can certainly take it to you. When it comes to matches like this, She certainly knows how to punish their, her opponents. And she would love... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Eh. But anyway, she would love to punish Valerie for what happened in the premiere. But hopefully Sean Shamrock didn't distract her too much. Oh boy. You better be ready for this one. Hailing from Transylvania, she is Valerie. Come on, let's go. Valerie, the vampire like, coming down to the ring. She's been to the darkness. To the darkness, no doubt. Excuse me. Bit of a psycho herself. My goodness. Oh, get a, get a look at her teeth. This woman is out of her mind. Then again, to, to compete in a match like this, you have to be out of your mind. Bell's gone. We are underway. Starting things off. 
where they call her an elbow tie-up. Oh, and a clean break. Oh, Irish whip into the corner. Oh, catches him. Oh, knee to the face. I may have taken out one of the fangs. Oh, but Valerie with a kick. This is you catches her. Now misses you with an ankle lock. Shades of Kurt Angle. Oh, you're not gonna believe what uh Booga Booga just said. This is you. Certainly taking it to Valerie here. Once again, this is Falls Count Anywhere. Oh no! Knee first right to the turnbuckle. And Valerie taking advantage of the situation with a jawbreaker. The cover and a kick out. to the face. A forearm shot there. A crucifix. No count outs, no disqualifications, simply falls count anywhere. Oh, sweep in the leg. And right back to the ankle lock. Obviously trying to eliminate the vertical base of Valerie. Not a bad strategy. Oh, don't forget about the good leg, however. Firewoman's carry, but reversed into a reverse DDT. And cover, kick out at one. And the kick, all oh no. Looks like it just angered Valerie. And that uh, crucifix again. Oh no. Oh, she's setting her up. Kicked in the midsection. The hooks the arms. Oh! Butterfly cutter. And a kick out by Mrs. Yu. I'm not exactly sure what Valerie calls it. I'll have to see if I can get an interview with her. Oh, Mrs. Yu is going for those gut wrench suplexes. But Valerie, oh no. A hit toss choke slam. All right, Machette, how's it going? Oh, a kick out after that splash. Oh, no. Oh, nice move there by Mrs. U again. Right back to the ankle. Gets out of it once again. The car all the time. Mrs. U shoves her away. All oh, the stun gun takes out Mrs. U. All oh, look at this raking the eyes. But once again, no disqualifications. And a shot to the back. And a full pump handle backbreaker. Oh, the Valerie just. Oh no. This is you in trouble. Oh my goodness. Oh no, now she has the arms. A little bit of joint manipulation there. And there's the knees right to the back. Oh, the hip toss chokes them again. Oh, this could be a... No, Mrs. Yu kicks out again. Valerie's got to be thinking, what do I have to do? Arm drag reversal by Mrs. Yu. She now has the arm. Oh, joint manipulation of her own. Mrs. Yu sets 
Defender up, kick to the midsection. Oh, oh. And Valerie saw it coming. Azarov now, big power bomb. This could be it. Oh, Valerie picks up the win again. That's when Mrs. Yu was about to hit that, her signature maneuver. Valerie snuck out and, and gets the win. Well, I'll tell you one thing, folks. This will not be the last encounter between these two. I promise you that. This rivalry has just started. And I'm sorry, we will not see the last of these two competing. The winner of the match via pinfall at 5 minutes and 18 seconds, Valerie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. Well, well this is you being helped out to the back. But even she knows it's far from over. Well, it, it is time for our main event of the evening, the final Elimination Chamber. We have... Alex Caliber, a newly redesigned Alex Caliber. Looks like he seems to have uh, put down the, uh, well, he either put down the body paint or he ran out. I don't know. We have Alex Caliber. Ya boy, Blaze McCoy. Wild Matt Outlaw. Mystic Maniac. Paul Utaker. And the Stone Age Warrior, Wooga Booga. <clears throat> and here we go. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, a uh, certain a friend of mine has actually uh, sent me a message. Apparently, breaking news in the world of WWE. Apparently, we have some uh, something big happen, but I'm not going to spoil it. I haven't seen it myself, but I am going to take a look at it. Uh, Wuga, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's, it's got something to do with, uh, Monday Night Raw, but I'm not gonna spoil it, I haven't seen it myself, I received news from a friend. Right now, we're here to focus on our main events.
And we're just about ready to get away, get underway with our main event, excuse me. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat for a sec. Making his way to the ring from Hell's Pit. Weighing in at 237 pounds. Mystic. By a power in himself. Razor blade deter himself. He feels nothing. His soul is empty. Receives a psychic distress call. It's time to change his path. Once again, guys, I apologize. Apparently, there's nothing I can do about it. It sucks. His opponents first from Wuga Island. Weighing in at 306 pounds, he is the Stone. <coughs> Sorry, the Stone Age Warrior, Wuga Buga. from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 287 pounds. Nine the dog, Alex Caliber. Just a reminder everybody, Blaze McCoy will be live very shortly. Blaze McCoy, Blaze Radio. Live at 11 p.m. and live in about a few minutes, actually. Excuse me. Speaking of Blaze Radio, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Steel City Superman, the lunatic hick from the sticks, ya boy, 
Blaze McCoy. People in the chat, who are you going with? Pick your favorite. This is you, no doubt, picking Paul. Family's important, no doubt. You know, family. From the outer circle of hell, he is Paul Utaker. No motorbike tonight. Probably no no room to put it anywhere. So far, the U-Takers have not had a great night. They're 0 for 3 tonight. Let's see if can change things, even though he will be starting this match. Competitor, the wild one himself, wild Matt outlaw. Come on, let's go. Remind me to hire a new camera crew. Get this episode out. 
as soon as possible. Blaze McCoy should be live momentarily. With some LTD action. Monday, bloody Monday. Climb it to the top of the pod and nails him. Right, less than 30 seconds to go before the next participant is. Sorry, I was trying to fix my headset. And, oh! Oh, kicked in the midsection. And what explosion that was. Countdown is on. Who will be number four? It's your boy, Blaze McCoy. Blaze McCoy coming in, the obvious fresh man. Oh, the call means take a beat. Both the answer, Gurry, but Blaze McCoy counters. And Stanley, oh, catches him. Out of way. This, oh. Now going after Mystic Mania. Beats him with a left hand. Oh, catches him and throws him away like a piece of garbage. Oh. Nice move there by the Dicks. Calls him down to the cover. And Blaze McCoy gets it from Mania. Seven minutes and two seconds. Second elimination. And there's a there's a kick out. Ball you take her. Oh, hat can't spring. And there's a spinning heel kick. Dodges that one. Oh, 
slap to the face. Less than 40 seconds before the fifth participant is released. Oh, setting him up. Grabs going for the hook, line, and sinker. Look at what he's going for. He's got it. Oh, no. Paul, oh, you think somehow picks that? Blaze McCoy is now live. Ladies and gentlemen, Blaze McCoy live with LTD Rest. Be sure to check that out. Be sure to check it out whenever, whenever you get the chance. Out in the, in the chat right here. Be sure to check it out, guys. A lot of great stuff. Grab by Ruga. Will Paul submit? That is the question. No, he will not. Now gets chopped. Now plays McCoy hammering away, but Ruga reverses. What's he going for here? The opposite corner and drop kick. No kick out. So far, Paul Utaker's doing very well. He's been in this match now just about 11 minutes. And now you see Alex Caliber waiting for his turn in the background. I'm not trying to make this as, my, as me and my brother wins, I swear. <clears throat> I mean, we all had to draw numbers at random. Kick out by Wuga. Has him up in the fireman's carry. Turns him around. Oh! Sir. Strikes again. Now Blaze going right after Wuga. Oh, but to no avail. Out of that one, right hand, right to the midsection and the face. Ooh, double kick by Paul and Blaze. Turns around. Oh, Blaze McCoy's been wide open. And there's the count, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Caliber released in two seconds. And here he comes. The final man to enter this match. Ball. In the world. Trying to take out the fresh man. Boy, it's in the 
knee of her, her paw. performance by all three men that, that were in the final three. The winner of the match at 18 minutes and 47 seconds, the rabid dog, Alex Caliber. What a matchup, what a show, despite the lag. 
I want to thank each and every one of you for coming by. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it to let me know. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more. Click the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode of Commonwealth Wrestling. Stay tuned.